Hi everyone, this is Cloud. Are you wanting to know if you should buy the new Call of Duty game? This is a spoiler-free review and my first impressions of 2023's Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, the newest Call of Duty title by Activision. I'll go through the ins and outs of the campaign, multiplayer, and any new gameplay mechanics being brought to the table. I'll give you some pros and some cons I think you should know about the game maybe before you decide to purchase this one. The story takes place after the events of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, and it's all about Makarov getting out and causing mayhem again. You play alongside with some of our favorite characters from the previous games like Ghost, Soap, and Price in another action-packed adventure in this sort of Red Dawn action thriller adventure. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the nail right on the head here when it comes to the campaign, and this might come as a surprise for some of you who are also big fans of the Call of Duty campaigns. This campaign was horrible from start to finish, but let me tell you why I think that is. In the game, you are placed on a majority of very open area maps that feel empty and don't make the story as linear and feels more like you're playing DMZ in Warzone where NPCs are just scattered around or looking for you, but you can choose how you want to approach completing the mission. Some of you might be asking why this might be a bad thing if you're given more choice on how to complete the missions. Well, in the past Call of Duty campaigns, the missions were a lot linear and story focused. Also, usually had a companion who would help you navigate or direct you exactly where you needed to be and made the gameplay combat feel more cinematic and story driven. Whereas in Modern Warfare 3, you often have multiple objectives and can go complete them on the map in whatever order or timing that you want. A good example I personally found very annoying by the third mission like this was where the missions where I had to go and disable some bombs or missiles at the map I was on and there wasn't really any rhyme or reason to this other than that I was just trying to find another thing to stop another attack by Makarov. It felt like I was just playing search and destroy for over half the game. There also weren't really any memorable bad guys or companions I really felt for. Even some of the older characters from previous campaigns like Price and Farah felt very watered down with no kind of further character development and the game just felt very rushed. The graphics in this game were always going to be top notch and it had no problems there. Honestly, that and the haptic feedback on the PS5 controller are the only immersive things about this game that I enjoyed. I just felt the story had no soul at all and this is probably the worst Call of Duty campaign I've ever played in terms of the story and I thought there was a lot of missed opportunities for artistic direction that the developers could have gone really far with creating another iconic remake like the previous Modern Warfare games. Now, let me explain why I think so little love went into this campaign, I waited until the multiplayer dropped before I drew my conclusion. The multiplayer in this game is actually pretty good. Let me explain why. What they did was give the players the ability to carry over any skins, unlocked characters, and unlocked weapons from Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone over to Modern Warfare 3. On day one, they already had some really dope skins, weapons, calling cards, and finishing moves, camos, battle pass content, and even a zombies mode as well, which has never all been available on a Modern Warfare game on launch day. I think Activision tried to polish up the multiplayer so much that the single player campaign just had to suffer and got the bare bones of what they had to throw together in order to focus their efforts on making their multiplayer the biggest money grab in COD history. There, I said it. Is the multiplayer fun? Yes. Does it bring back some of that millennial nostalgia from the old Modern Warfare 3 days growing up? Kinda. It brings something new to the table with next-gen hardware and improved gear loadouts and having some of the most iconic maps back like Rust, Skid Row, Scrapyard, and Favela that you used to play back in the day with your buddies. The pros. This game is definitely going to make you feel nostalgic and give you that dopamine hit that you haven't had since the Modern Warfare 2018's multiplayer came out. The cons. This game's campaign was probably the biggest letdown this year with all the hype surrounding this game. For the asking price of $70 in the US before taxes, I would say that it's outrageous of Activision to make us pay for this at full price for a campaign that took me about about five hours to finish and just had no soul whatsoever. I would say, even with the multiplayer considered, this would maybe be a fair $40 game for the amount of content that you do get. Overall, this is a good multiplayer game for what it is. I would give Modern Warfare 3 a solid 4 out of 10. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and hit the subscribe button. Are you playing Modern Warfare 3? What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Until next time, bye.